Shalom. Welcome to Torah Talks. My name is Rabbi Gamliel, coming to you from Pardes Chana, beautiful land of Israel. Please give the thumbs up, like button, and hit the subscribe. In today's episode of Torah Talks, we want to talk about purpose. And we see that we have a story in the book of, uh, in the Torah from uh, Parashah Korach, that there's a cautionary tale that we can learn from this story. Um, the dangers of jealousy and the importance of finding one's purpose in life. Korach is a Levi, he is a cousin of Moshe and Aharon, and he becomes resentful of their leadership role. And he begins to gather a, uh, gather a group of followers to challenge their authority. Unfortunately, in his pursuit of power, Korach loses sight of his own purpose and the role that he was meant to play in the community. He becomes so full and so consumed with jealousy and ambition that he doesn't realize the value in the work that Moshe and Aharon are doing. And ultimately, he and his followers are punished. So, is there a lesson that we can learn from this tragic, sad story? I think there is. I think one of the lessons is to find, uh, uh, with the lessons to learn from the story, is the importance of finding your purpose, our purpose, and staying true to it, and uh, rather than becoming consumed with jealousy and envy of others. You see, each one of us has a unique role and u unique talents and abilities, and we just have to discover what our purpose is and bring that to the table, and pursue it with passion and dedication. I think in order to find your purpose, it could help to, to look inward and to reflect on our, you know, our own values and strengths and passions. We, we, I think we meet, need to be open to feedback and guidance from others and be willing to change and, and to make adjustments along the way as we grow and continue to improve. In addition, Warren Woodward in his book, Resolve, 13 Resolutions for Life, he gives a clue also as to how one can find your purpose in life. He says that if you look at the intersection of three things, those things being passion, potential, and profit. He says that all great achievements must be maintained through passion. Through passion. Otherwise, the criticisms, the setbacks, and the pressures will eventually wear achievers down. For potential, he writes that all of us have unique gifts and skills. Each one of us has abilities that can benefit the world. And as for profits, he writes that profits are the result of turning one's potential and passion into a fruitful calling. So you see, ultimately, the story of Korach teaches us that true fulfillment and success comes not from seeking power or recognition, but from limiting life that is aligned with our purpose and values. When we are able to find and pursue our purpose with dedication and humility, we can make a meaningful impact on the world and leave a lasting legacy. Remember, like the content, content please give us a thumbs up, subscribe. See you next time on Torah Talks. Bye.